Oh, you don't need to practice this game. It's a natural game. It comes naturally. Once you've ever played it, it's in your soul. Sure am. All you need to know is that every single thing that you're seeing on screen has actually happened in an episode of Tool Time. We'll be going through the history as we go through the run. Uh, this is actually the famous uh, Jurassic Park episode uh, where Tim and the gang actually go to a dinosaur island and Tim has to defend the family. I believe Jonathan Taylor Thomas uh, loses an arm in the episode, but he he comes back all right and later they totally retcon that out. He, he ends up getting his arm back. Classic dream sequence. And yes, this is a tool system speed run. It is, uh, it is fantastic. <laughs> It's whatever time you see below you, plus about a minute 36. I personally tend to think the tools are living. But you know, every you know, everybody has a different theory on this one. <laughs> I think I think the the greatest thing as far as the uh all different weapons you're using, I mean, your chain shot saw like its blazers. You have like thunder coming out of certain items. It's very much like exactly I think the kind of tools that uh the Tin Allen would be using. I mean, why be right next to something and try to hit it when you could shoot a laser beam out like 15 feet in front of you and hit it with that. So I think it all makes sense as far as the show is concerned. It's the only thing you'll ever hear called good in this game, I gotta say. But no, actually, no, in all honesty, though, I mean, this this game's really interesting. It's kind of a conundrum to me, because I think there's actually a lot of stuff going for this game, as far as, like, it has a lot of cool platforming, as far as the speed game's concerned, like, the routing of how Leaf is getting these crates. It doesn't seem like much, but it would take forever if you weren't kind of going through these levels in a certain way, um, and taking certain damage boosts that he's doing, very subtle stuff. You know, nice little, like, uh, drop-offs of sledges and that sort of thing. The game has a lot of potential behind it. 
But then they, for some reason or another, had to like slap tool time on the front of it, and it makes no friggin' sense. But it gives us this gem, and you know who who can't appreciate a game about you know the wonderful uh, wonderful Tim Allen and his family who. Uh, only makes the brief appearance in the game, but um, I, I honestly feel like they're the uh, well, they're the catalyst for the whole reason we're doing this. So, Can we can we talk? <laughs> oh my God. This newfound tool tech. This is this is good stuff. <laughs> can we talk about one thing? How this game? I'm pretty sure this has the best end level ever to where you were just rained down on by nuts and bolts and you have to collect a giant golden nut at the end. I mean, that's just fantastic. <laughs> And another set complete. Here we go. We're going on to, uh, we're on stage five already? To the boss fight? All right. Oh, uh, yes. And if you remember the end of the Jurassic Park episode, this is actually like almost exactly the look the uh, the artist in this game really nailed down uh, the creature that Tim fights at the end of that. Um, I don't remember him using the nail gun on that though, and that's kind of where uh, where Leaf has his own strats for it. I believe Tim actually ran it over with a bulldozer in the episode, so you you really get some good variety in this game uh, as far as uh, the strategies you could use and just that wonderful ledge animation. No, but it does have our own grunts, so, uh, you know, might, might hear one of those down the line here. Yep. Apparently, you're not coming through on the stream. You might need to activate your mic. Yeah. Oh, there's got to be, like, a good tool time technical difficulties with, like, the drunk guy behind the camera or something like that. That'd be perfect. Oh, 
Oh, it was on. It was just somehow got muted all the way down to zero. All right. Because it wouldn't be complete if technical difficulties didn't happen in a game about technology, right? I do not want this. In classic, classic Tim Allen, Tim the Tool Man Taylor fashion, uh, busted the stream, and uh, <coughs> somehow, somehow he's going to be able to keep his, uh, he's going to keep it on TV show. Can we talk about the fact that Tim Allen constantly gets himself injured and puts his family in danger, and yet this man has a, like, I guess semi-popular, continuously running show? I mean, come on now. This man it should easily, easily be locked up. But no, instead, now he's running through, you know, Egyptian pyramids and, you know, harassing all sorts of wildlife. It's it's crazy. And, and with a jackhammer, no less. I mean, what a savage. Yeah, one thing I do like about this game is how faithful it is to the show. It's, it's very good. Incredibly, it, 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 you know, it's amazing because I, I said earlier that I felt like they just kind of slapped it together and, you know, they just kind of put the tool time, but they really went deep into uh, the home improvement lore on this one. And I got to say, this is actually a fairly, fairly good, re uh, faithful recreation of the uh, the Egyptian pyramid three part miniseries that they had. This is actually a Christmas miniseries, oddly enough, where uh, Tim and the gang actually go um, and uh, find, you know, many a wonderful thing as they, they, they go through the pyramids. And we just got another golden nut. So on to 2-2. Two, two. Get it done. So the most absolutely the, destroying ancient artifacts. Most important part of this level was that beginning where I had the power-up. Because the power-up improves your jump height a little bit. And it also kind of makes you invulnerable because I can just grab it back and... Uh, keep getting it that way because it doesn't go away right away so you can recover it and that's kind of what I'm doing to do all these damage manipulations for the deal and this part right here it, it'll explain better why you, you don't want to stand next to the, like the uh, breakable platforms because that there I wasn't next to them yet I broke all three of them with one hammer swing if only you could do that more often during the game And back the way I came, just want to get up there. Yeah, so that power-up serves a few different functions throughout the run. So you get it, and obviously, I guess it does power up your weapons, correct? But then uh, it also gives you the ability, you get a little additional jump, you have the ability to walk on spikes, and then, yeah, as Leaf tends to use it a, a good amount throughout this run, uh, you get a lot of good uh, damage boost out of it as well. Um, when you don't have the power-up, you kind of, uh, you know, you spray nuts and bolts everywhere, kind of a sonic S style. Um, but, like you see right there, uh, when you have the power up, all it does is just pop up right above you. And if you have the clearance, then you can just jump up, grab again, and be on your way. Yeah, I got the level two nail gun. I'm, I'm too early on it, so I'm gonna have to pick up another another one into the next level, and I'm gonna have to deal with a few bolts. <coughs> <coughs> so what you do not want in this speed run is you do not want to be fully powered up. That is getting three of the same power up plus the power up itself. Because when you're all powered up, because the only way to have anything or achieve anything is to have more power. Um, you get an extra, an extra like silverish bolt that appears at the end of the level, and it takes about five seconds for it to spawn. So there are 20, oops, I went the wrong way, 20 levels total in this game, and each time you get five seconds if you're holding it like that. So you don't want to, you don't want to do that. You... Can I say? Huge missed opportunity by when you when you grab the uh, the invulnerability with the uh, the hard hat that you just don't get a big old just uh, just out of nowhere. 
That was uh-huh. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> the one I just did was mediocre at best. If you guys didn't know, that is actually literally the only reason why I'm doing commentary with Leaf right now is that uh, I could do a lot better of a Tim Allen grunt than he can. <laughs> But no, actually, this is this is what is this? The fourth, fifth time we've uh, uh, we've kind of we've done duo on this game. It's, I think this is the fifth time we've done this commentary for the home improvement game. It's a f- so apparently, Leaf can't run this in any kind of uh, thon setting unless uh, I, I join him. That's just the way we've always we've done this for a while now, and this game never gets old. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> I love it. Even it, even though people don't appreciate it as much as I do, I still love to play it every every marathon, every time I do. You're you're doing you're doing God's work with this one, Leaf. You, you, Leaf plays this in a speedrun fashion, so we could all enjoy it, but not actually have to play through it ourselves. And that's a noble thing. I feel like I'm doing something for everybody because I don't think anybody has ever beaten this game. Unless You're they're like never. unless they're doing something like TMR where they're trying to complete every single Super Nintendo game, I'm pretty sure nobody would ever give this game a chance. Yeah, shout out to TMR. Oh, oh I got that back. Wow. You can use that just about in any setting, right? You can you can be playing anything, you just do like shout out to TMR and that probably applies. Yep. Just the end. And we're done with that level. See, I'm not completely powered up yet. The next one I will be, because I have to grab an... I'm going to be grabbing a nail gun at the very beginning. Well, not the first time I go through, but the second time I will. But the only way to get rid of the nail gun power-ups is to lose the power-up itself, because it cycles through power-up and then your three power-ups. So there's no way... Oh, I guess I will be grabbing it. So now I got a fully powered-up nail gun, and the problem with this nail gun is that it shoots so fast, it puts so many projectiles on screen that it just lags it up. This game is just too powerful for its own good. Because, I mean, it's in the title itself. Power. But it's a power tool. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Wait, no, I'm not. And we're going to pursue those power tools. <laughs> we're going to get them. If it's Tim Allen's last thing he does on Earth, he's just going to get these power tools and leave his uh, poor old Jonathan Taylor Thomas orphaned. You know, it's terrible. Terrible. Which almost happened in one of the episodes as well. Another bit of two, uh, home improvement lore for you. So I'm going to back out this way and go back the way I started. Now, if I can keep this power up, I'm... Ooh. If I can keep this power up, I can skip a little part of this level. I need to get up to that ledge, but... Because these some, there's too many enemies on screen, something does not spawn. So even though I've seen all these little... Uh, whatever they're called, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what they look like. Uh, some of those do not spawn, and I'm not going to see it if it does spawn, because this game is just so great with uh, spawning enemies. I luckily did not get hit, so I can come up here. Because the jump, jump is extended because of the power-up, and I can get up here, and it saves me some time. I think I've called those ladybugs in the past, but I think we clarified last time that they're scarabs. I mean, that kind of makes sense, I guess. And nice little uh, damage boost you see right there. That's That's... You know, he's he's waiting for that uh that scorpion spit to come out at him, uh just to be able to get by him and keep the power <coughs> up it's gonna be very valuable. He's uh he's doing a lot of platforming that he wouldn't otherwise be able to. God, I'm so rusty right now. I'm I'm not going the right way most of the time. I have to just like do a double take. I was like, Okay, well, this is the way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> And this power-up is still important. That's why I have to keep boosting. The... So, I mean, normally if I didn't have the power-up, I'd have to do a really ridiculous grapple jump here. But because I have the power-up, I can just get up here and not worry about it. I'm just trying not to lose it. 
say what you want about Wilson being the creepy neighbor, but he's the only thing that can help that family together. That's the extra you know? bolt that appears when you're fully powered up. There you go. I but, mean, without Wilson constantly, like, nagging Tim to be, like, not such a terrible dad, that family would have fallen apart season one. <coughs> Easily. Get up there. You know, I've, act I've actually never used a level 3 nail gun on this boss, so we'll see how much better that is. Alright, another that's never happened before. This one on purpose, though. Mm, no, I don't think it wasn't really on purpose. I well, don't, yeah, I mean. I don't remember where I picked up the nail gun, though. I just. I don't remember how I got the level 3. I mean, I know I picked up the last one, but normally I'd have a level 2 gun, but I don't know where I picked up the one before that. Yeah, one thing that the level 2 nail gun does the better than the 3 is that it shoots straight down. So when you're on that ledge, you can sort of get the hits as you're jumping around. Ooh, if I had killed that boss, I would have lost power up. Because for some reason, whenever the level ends, it despawns any power-up that's on screen. So, and of course... Next... I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. Of course, you know, Tim just absolutely destroying a corpse. Uh, are you surprised? Because he totally did know, that home improvement. It's definitely an episode. I mean, we, you just got to look it up. We were I don't, talking I don't quite about remember. how he just desecrated a tomb. He, he absolutely desecrated a tomb in the episode, so it, it makes a lot of sense, I guess. So, the Haunted House level. Absolutely worst stage in the whole entire game, for obvious reasons. And this is the classic. This is the episode... Uh, this whole set revolves around the episode where Tim and the gang, uh, they actually inherit a, uh, a haunted mansion from uh, Great Old Aunt Beatrice, uh, the condition that they do have to stay a single night. Um, in that episode, I believe uh, there's a like exorcism sort of thing that happens with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Tim has to use one of his power tools. He uh, almost kills the kid. It's it's a great episode. Look it up. I, I believe it's I want to say season six, episode four. Check that out. It's a, it's a really good one. But they did the whole set about it, and I gotta say, uh, pretty accurate with the uh, bedsheet ghost and the random bats everywhere. Yeah, bedsheet ghost decided he wanted to be a real troll there. All right, so now I am back to bare basic strats. I got rid of all my nail gun and I got rid of the power up because I got well the power up not a the uh, Nail gun's not a big deal, but I got hit stupidly when I had the power up, and then I decided not to go and recover for it. It was a I, oh, it was a damage boost. What the hell was I thinking? Damage boost. I decided not to go for it stupidly because I wanted to get rid of the nail gun. This one, it's especially bad when you have the the fully powered up nail gun. There's just so much stuff on the screen, like all these bats, the spikes. So it's not recommended to have something like that because it just causes so much slowdown. Um, this is also the level that has very little usage of the grapple hook because of all these little hallways. God damn it, I was trying to get up there before the candle got there. Okay, still good. I got a bolt from that one. Uh, it's very random. Like when you take damage, the bolts just kind of fly in any direction. And when you have bunches of 10, it shoots a, a one of just 10. So you actually want an odd, or like not a zero at the end of your counter. Because you get a little more uh, help to try to get them back when you do get hit. Because you do want to always have a bolt so you don't die. Always have a bolt, always have a nut. It's very important. And I gotta let my cat out because he's meowing at me. The one thing that I find really interesting uh, in this game, um, 
I mean, obviously, you get, like, just this crazy enemy selection that you have to go through, um, because reasons. I mean, obviously, you're going through all these different locales, and realistically, I guess it's all based on, they're supposed to be TV sets, but, like, you're destroying real things, like, you know, it's like these bats and, like, spiders, this all exists, so I don't really understand, like, and why is it trying to attack Tim? I think they really know how bad it's the guy Tim is. You're really, you're really the bad guy in this. Is one of those twists you find out at the very end. It's like, like the old Republic all over again. It's like you were the bad guy all along. It's like, of course Tim's the bad guy. I mean, he like harasses Bobbia and stuff like that. It's a shady guy. And Al, poor Al. Oh, I almost blew it there. Okay. We're back now. I'm pretty sure Tim Allen set his wife on fire at least, like, two, three times a season. So it's hard to track down to a single episode where he does it. Okay, I just needed a bolt. <laughs> I didn't want to try to chance it. Cause the spider's just too random for my own good. So one thing I kind of dislike about this game when I was first playing it, uh, there's a lot of blind descents, and like, in that way you can go down that path and get hit by those spike balls there. So I'm gonna do a little intended, unintended route manipulation here. That, that little doorway there that I just went through was intended for you to go out as soon as you get up there, but they made it so that you could grapple into it and if I were to go around, I would have to go around twice because it forces you to go through a doorway, which you can't go back through, or like a little fall. And that saved me about a minute and a half, of, or maybe not, maybe not a minute and a half, but about a minute of just walking to a place. And that means you're getting through the game that much sooner, so all the better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but remember, I love playing this game, but... Yeah. I know others don't, so... <laughs> no, you know, it, it's like we were, like I was saying before, it, it, it's really funny. I, I do actually think it's it's very ambitious. There's a lot of things going on for the game um, as far as, like, the different tech and, like, how much is involved in it. The length of it is actually, you know, fairly decent. Um, kind of the cool, like, <laughs> platforming and stuff like that. It's just... It, it just has its nice little, like, home improvement, Tim Allen jankiness to it. And, I mean, that, you know, that's kind of what, uh, what warms your heart. It, 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 what's make, it is what makes it home improvement, home improvement. It has to have a little bit of a... Because, like, it's things like the RNG, right? Like, we were talking about this the other day, and it's like, this game definitely has RNG to it. Like, how your nuts and bolts split out. But then it doesn't, like, with the nail gun stuff. Like, it looks like it's completely random, but it actually kind of has a set pattern for how it's firing out things, or, like, yeah. how the sledgehammer, yeah. like, that. And it's like, why does it have to fire like that? Because they want it to fire like that. And Tim Allen, like, doesn't know how to, like, control himself, so he just wants all the power possible. And, um, you know, be damned if I destroy a couple chandeliers or, you know, my son's leg in the process. That's just the way it goes. So, Sacrifices need to be made for power. Get up there, jeez. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm playing like trash right now. I can't do my own path. Yeah, the thing about Tim, uh, something I do remember from the show is he makes a lot of accidents on set. So that's probably what they were going for with all these little patterns and stuff. It just seems like Tim doesn't know how to use these tools effectively. It's amazing they gave this man a show. Yeah, he's I mean, in charge of the whole show, yep. It, and his own line of tools. Like, with, with, a, with a man who constantly, like, breaks stuff and, like, can't use things properly, why would you name a tool line after? But here we are. And uh, and here Tim is destroying you know spiders and bats with a nail gun. It's um, you know it's every thirteen year old's dream. 
Yes, and I was probably like, I was probably younger than 13 when Home Improvement was on the. <laughs> By the way, if you guys want to catch an episode of Tool Time, I'm sure you could log on, like, you could check out TV Land, like, right now, 4.30 in the morning. Is every time? Yeah, that's about right for. There's probably Home Improvement's probably airing somewhere on some channel right now. So if you want to watch it side by side and probably catch the episode where he's in the haunted house, um, you know, take a look at your local uh, broadcast. Station. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> um, I didn't get enough height, so I ended up taking a hit and then couldn't get the bolt. That was again the randomness. It, they decide the game is deciding not to put a bolt to the right side. Oh, now it does, and now I'm not getting it. I'm not in the right place. And this knight is just a champion right now. It's okay, this this run is not world record based, definitely like it was last year. Oh, get up there, jeez. Um, well, I guess I never explained the penalties for if you do die. Um, when you die, you go back to the last crate that you grabbed. Um, you lose all the power-ups that you had because you can die with some power-up. Not, not the power-up itself unless you fall in a pit. You lose all that, and your timer goes back up to what it was at the start of the level. And jump. Yeah, we were saying before, huge, huge missed opportunity in this game. Um, anytime you grab, because there's these, uh, you get hard hats throughout this game, like we did right here, and just every time you grab that hard hat, it just a good old, just, uh, just, that would really, really have rounded out the game. They gotta make it even more home improvement, they gotta put Wilson in it, but they missed an opportunity to put him in the game too. Wilson is you. That's my belief. You're Wilson controlling Tim Allen, like he does through the show, constantly manipulating Tim, having him do what he wants, giving him advice, advice in quotes. We we all know. We we all know. Like I said, you know, Wilson is the one turning the screws in this show. Um, Tim is just, you know, he he's he's a man possessed by power. That's all he cares about. And remember, uh, the timer is not right right now. It's about a minute and 30 behind. Because I decided I wanted to reset the timer, to be, or I wanted to split my first um, split for the speed run, and I didn't have the whole entire thing open because I didn't have just a single timer going. And I couldn't get it to restart without resetting it for some reason. <laughs> Something... Things have to break in a in a tool time uh, home improvement run here. It, it, it's just the just the law of uh, of the nature of power. <laughs> the law of the nature of power. Oh. Okay, I gotta get rid of this candle now. I don't want a nail gun. At the end of the level, I'm going to get a chainsaw, and I don't want to power it up, really, because I need to keep my... Oops. I need to keep the nail gun level 1 until a certain stage in level set 4. Oh, I got another power up there. Um, I don't want to be super powered up, because I'm going to inevitably pick them up in one stage anyway. What am I hearing? Oh, you're you kidding me, right? But I did get it. You I got bombed. Want power? Oh no. It's like I bonked in that spider. I did that last year, but I wasn't able to get it back. I got it that time though. I think I learned this <laughs> game by now. It's just coming to you. Yeah, I knew if I jumped up there the bat would get me and that would be really bad because set Oh, did I miss a crate? Which one did I miss? <laughs> that's that's hardcore rust right there. Alright. So you know I know which one about. I know which one I missed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That's kind of embarrassing, actually. <laughs> oh, I about lost my power up there. You know, instead of the 100% tool category, it's like the 95% tool category. It's fine. Now, if only there was a way to manipulate the game to go to the next level. I do not want to lose this power up, so I'm going to, you know, for the first time, actually try to kill enemies. Because as this should be evidence as to why I'm not killing anything in this game, is because everything takes that many hits to kill. Damn, I'm really, really salty about that one, actually. Nah. That might actually put our timer back to where it's supposed to be, but nonetheless, add, an, add a minute 30 to it. So now we get to one of the worst boss fights ever programmed in any video game. And for that matter, any video game for that. Um, this boss uh, has frames, which he opens his mouth, and that is when you hit him. So you're basically just waiting until he does that, and you can't hurt him any other way. And so we reflect on many good boss fights that do this mechanic. Like, for example, every fight in Donkey Kong Country where you have to... Like, I think Donkey Kong Country 1 is infamous for this one, where all the bosses have, like, invulnerability frames that you just cannot hit them. The Dumb Drum is probably the one that comes to mind the most. And King K rule. So yeah, and with this boss fight, just like uh, 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 a missed opportunity to like, as, as with a lot of this game, it feels like missed opportunity to do something like a little bit more interesting. You end up in this one. I mean, once you know kind of what you're doing, you just sit in the middle, you just whack at this thing with your laser chainsaw, and you're on your way. You're flexing. That's isn't that wonderful? Like immediately, like it's almost like you threw out a taunt right there. Just little Tim Allen flex. And there we go. We're done with him. Yeah, the thing about this, there's all this space that I do not use. There's this little platform down here that has a bottomless pit, which I can fall into. It doesn't ever get that. Like I'm never fearing that I'm gonna <laughs> fall into that pit. <laughs> It's just there. So on to the final set of the game. So I can do a little strat here, but if I fail it, I lose the power up and I cannot recover. So I'm not going to try it or even think about trying it in a marathon setting. But I don't even do that. I don't even do that strat in a speed run half the time. You save only like four seconds, but you lose a minute, like more than a minute if you lose the power up. It's the, it's just not worth it. So another hard hat grab that just seems to be randomly in a location that benefits me. I use this so I can get through all these UFOs and get up here before it runs out. And again, with this power up, I couldn't make that jump if I didn't have it. Should, should we make a should we make a pack for for next time you got you do this in a uh, in a marathon this game. Uh, every time you grab a hard hat, you get a Tim Allen grunt out of it. So we can just do it uh, like ourselves. Yeah, okay. I, I, there you go. See, there you go. That's one. Okay, so the eyeball, the quickest way to kill him for some reason, because it's the only enemy that does that, is with the hammer. It takes three instead of five hits with anything else. And that one has invulnerability frames, so. Oh, I did not get it. Okay. That happened to me in practice. I don't know why that happened. Okay, so now I gotta remember which way to go. Okay, yeah, that's not, not difficult. But unfortunately, now I have to go through the little platform section that I did again, because the power up, for some reason, did not get grabbed. So I'm gonna go up here and grab the power up here. Just hopefully, hopefully a shooting star is not down here to bonk me, but it's going to be. Okay. <laughs> and and for all you uh all, all, all you fans of home improvement you you can tell you know exactly where this is from this actually takes place in the, this scene represents the entire uh seventh season of home improvement where uh tim and the family have actually colonized an alien planet and are 
set on being their ruler with the whole basis on power. Uh, these aliens have the best power tools known to man, and Tim wants his hands on them. Uh, and I remember some weird love triangle thing with Jonathan Taylor Thomas, and yeah, it, 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 it's a crazy season. Really, the writers kind of went off the handle on this one, and uh, and, and Tim, Tim had let the power go to his head, I gotta say. So th- that's where this all is taking place right here. Yeah, I liked it. I liked the part of the show when they all turned on him at the end. That was a pretty good twist. I mean, it was about time. <laughs> so convenient about this stage is that it has two hard hats in a row there. The first one I didn't really have to grab, but I did anyway. And right now I have a, a two nail gun and I don't want it that way. See, there's, there's something I, it's really bothering me, Leaf. There's times where you don't want more power, and it's really bothering me. I, I, this is going completely against the Tim Allen nature. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think, faithfully, you should always be as fully powered up as you possibly can be, no matter how bad a detriment it is to your speed <laughs> Well, it's safer to be fully powered up, but sometimes they're just it's impossible for me to grab the power up back just because of the small corridors. It's like get when come on. You... <laughs> the trade did not want me to grab it there. <laughs> when it, when in the future can we see an all power percent run? Like that's what we need. I just need all power all the time. We need to never never not be as fully powered as possible. So a great little tidbit about this game. Uh, this game, uh, I, I guess technically it, it comes with instructions, but then the leaf you can fill us in. So so you open it up and it just goes to a spreadsheet and it just says uh, what exactly was that? Uh, Remind real men don't need instructions. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it opens up to a printed on sticker that has that bit of it over it like you cannot read what's underneath it the, the funny thing is you can see instructions there you just can't read it because of that sticker being there and what's hilarious is the controls are really obtuse for this game so it really benefit from actually knowing like what you need to do and they just slap the sticker over the top of where your instructions would be and yeah, I, I haven't explained that yet have I? Day. um so the way the controls work is you have your shoulder buttons to do directional fires hold on here this is a terrible jump okay um the x button is three things it's your grapple hook which is just the x button um left right plus the x button is your hammer and down in x is the jackhammer and you have to use this for anything for, or well everything because it's always accessed and the jackhammer is the best way to kill any enemy that's on the ground and this is why i did not want the nail gun I don't really need to lose the power up there. I could just grab it up there if I did, but for some reason I grabbed it anyway. Um, and then the A button is the way to fire with your weapon that you're holding. That was close. And then Y is your dash button, and then B is the... Did I say Did I just say B was your fire button? Uh, I mean, you're talking about... I'm talking about using the weapon. I think, yeah, A is yeah, the fire yeah. button, B is the jump hey. button, Y is the dash button. All right, I'm going to skip this nail gun here and just go straight down. Not get bonked by a UFO. Ooh, it went right through the spikes there. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things that I found once and I have not found another place to use that sort of tech. <laughs> like going through platforms. Yeah, you know, oh, no, don't again. Get no way. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty close. I about got hit oh. and I, w- I would, n- <laughs> would not have been able to get the power up back. That's one thing we, I mean, like I brought up a couple times already. It's like, <laughs> like there's, there's cool tech, cool things to be done as far as like the speedruns concerned in this game. It's just like it's just 
so obtuse to do any of it. <laughs> so it, it just it, it it doesn't it doesn't lend itself to being uh, I don't know people <laughs> people enjoy. It, 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 but it's very you know it, when you, when you see it done well, um, it's definitely cool. The like the ledge, uh, the ledge dropping for sure. I, I think you, you do it as early as World One. It's just crazy how much, um, how quickly you kind of jet through some of this level because th these levels take a really long time. So you're playing through them casually. Yeah, it's a, it's a scavenger hunt, but if you do stand still and let Tim Allen do his little, um, uh, little taunt or whatever, where he flexes his arms, if you wait. Uh, the game will actually give you like a directional arrow that shows you where your where a crate is nearby you. But the okay. thing is, it doesn't. You don't have a map in this game, so even though it's telling you that direction, that could pretty much be leading you into a wall. You know, this run this run is not world record, so I, I guess I could actually demonstrate it. I'm gonna just stand right here. It's gonna give me an arrow to tell me to go down. Or, on him, Tim. or maybe uh, not, or maybe because it's on the screen, it's not going to show it to me. Yeah, yeah, no. It's like, hey, dude, it's right there. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was going to get hit by the eyeball monster if I didn't do something. But there I think you I, go. I put, we, it, we I put an estimate of an flash. hour, so. We got a flash, it's good. And while we're at it, I guess I could show you what the instruction manual looks like really quickly. Oh, they got they You got know what, I actually should not do that. They told me not to mess with it. Yeah. See, here's what happens when you stand still. It's telling me to go down, but I can't really go down from this spot. Turn that back off. I probably should not mess with it. We already broke it once. I mean, <laughs> what's another time? It is a home improvement. Oh, another nail gun just randomly sitting there. See, there's no way to get more power than three, so it's not a big deal. Now, losing the power up here would be detrimental to the run, so I need to keep it as much as I, or as long as I can. This is another level which having the level three nail gun just really lags the game up. So I'm trying not to fire as much as possible, only when I need to. Stay on the ground here. I always fudge this one up. You don't want to get hit while you're jumping in the air, because most of the time you're not going to get down in time to jump back up. Yeah, you 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 know Tim would be, you know Tim would snitch for a lighter sentence. That sounds about right. He would throw Al under the bus. And then Al would be like, I don't think so, Tim, and he'd blow her up. That's actually an episode, isn't it? I think I'm actually forgetting about that one. Is that is was that season eight? Al sues Tim finally. Well, all he does is make jokes about him and embarrass him on set, so I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. You know, abuse. Um You know, he probably did some stuff backstage we didn't even see. It, it's... Oh, I almost lost it there. Oh. Again, I'm fully convinced we're playing the bad guy. I, I I I can't see us being, you know. That could have been really bad what I just did there. If I had actually gone a little bit higher and not bonked, I would have been in that doorway. And you would have been sitting until that timer ran out all the way from 660, and it takes so long that I might as well just end the run right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> that I'll was prove so it over. that was so close, and I'm playing on a console right now. I'm playing on an actual card of the game, so there'd be no saving it. So what a glorious gold nut. Six hundred and sixty seconds you would have had to wait. God, it's like the game just started, but here we are, we're already on four five. And the classic uh series enemy, uh the bipedal robot I'm pretty sure this is being piloted by Win uh, Wilson. Pretty sure. 
And because and, uh, I we'll because do... I've got the power up and stuff, this is a very easy fight because all I can do is just sit on the ground in the middle. But what I'm actually trying to do is get up close to him because I don't think this boss actually has iframes like most of the other enemies in the game. So I'm trying to get as many hits as I can with the stale or I keep trying to call it a staple gun. It's like I, I keep trying to get as many hits as I can with the nail gun, so maximize damage potential, staying up close to him so each and every one of these hit. I'm gonna take this hit here just to get rid of the power up. And t speaking a little bit more seriously, I guess about the speed run. So, so what is the record right now that you got for this currently, Lee? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> it's a time. <laughs> it's a forty-eight. It's a, it's a forty-eight it's a something. I don't remember. Wow. It was last year's run. And oh, this, when it plays the black, that is time. <laughs> so, it's actually a forty-nine. Uh, or no, it's a 50-20. Yeah, yeah. Because I had to screw up the timer at the very beginning. But since we're at the end of the run, I don't think they'll care if I mess with it anymore. Um, here's what the instruction manual looks like. I'll just kind of put it on screen. I've got the Turbo Deforester. Because, you know, Tim's just going to ruin more nature. Of course. He's only like murdered hundreds of things throughout this run. Now I gotta take care of the trees. And real men don't need instructions, so. All right, home improvement, there we go. And all in all, <laughs> we're coming up, with, but basically I guess uh, it was the kids all along plotting to kill you. Uh, rightfully so, again. So it, it, it's a, uh, it's quite a twist right there at the end, but you know, Tim would just kind of give it a go and just kind of be on with it, right? So that was a terrible one, by the way. <laughs> but I'm I'm very happy with the time I got. I mean, I I didn't really get a chance to practice this a lot. I've been very busy with work, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. I appreciate you sticking by me once more, Jay. I really love having you do this run with me. Oh yeah, and always a pleasure. Uh, if you guys want to, want to see more from me, I am actually running the Flintstone Surprise at Dinosaur Peak tomorrow. I want I want to say it's like 6 a.m., but since this this run was supposed to be like 5 in the morning, but it got moved back to 6, so I don't know. We'll see where the time is at tomorrow, but I'm running tomorrow morning, and I hope to see more of you there. And there's definitely a lot more games that are a lot better than this one that people are going to be playing, so... And you guys are going to see the ending, because most people have never seen the ending in this game. <laughs> All right. Quite great. <laughs> going to go ahead and turn it over to the you guys to switch over to the next game. Uh, what is next? Uh, it says Tailgater. So, mm -hmm. hope you guys enjoy.